Anybody recognize this, uh, this guy here with the NZT, Bradley Cooper? One of the most important takeaways of today's presentation is to be present. And what that means is that you realize this is all that's happening right now. Now, you may have thoughts that are going to enter your mind about what you did this morning, what happened last night, going to the game tomorrow, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, this is what's happening. My voice, the pressure of the seat against your body, the concepts that I'm sharing with you, be present. I want everybody to stand up, and we're going to go through a present exercise. We're going to do this three times, okay? We're going to breathe in, and on our exhale, we're going to exclaim in laughter, like this. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 Be present. You can sit down now. Thank you. <laughs> The movie Limitless that this, uh, that this image is from talks about a guy that discovers a pill, by the way, don't do drugs, <laughs> and he discovers a pill that somehow gets him to tap into, I think I figured out what the problem was, gets him to tap into the entire, his entire brain. And what I really think was going on in that film with this guy is that he became ultimately incredibly present. He saw everything that was happening before him and he was able to measure things and respond to them. What tremendous detail. I apologize. So we, we need to be present as entrepreneurs, okay? We can't have our head elsewhere. We have to always bring it back. Things are going to go wrong with demos. Things are going to go wrong with meetings. You're going to have problems. But you've got to always be present when you're dealing with issues, when you're dealing with objectives. And sometimes breathing and laughing is a great, simple way to get present. And it's key. Now, let's define success. Traditional definitions of success, conventional definitions. A lot of money. A lot of power a lot of fame. I want to encourage all of you to define your own type of success. What does success mean to each of you? And encourage you to look at different factors than maybe these three conventional ones. Happiness. Confidence. Integrity. Health. Now there's no money here. There's no fame. There's no power. But this is a successful person. And if you really develop yourself, you will get those other things if you want them. I would focus on these first, though, because a lot of entrepreneurs never get these. They never do. They lose sight for the others. Let's talk about them. How do you get happiness? How do you really get happiness? Well, to me, it comes down to synchronicity. What is synchronicity? For those of you about my age, which I know not many of you are, it was actually a police album released in 1983. Awesome music. Please check it out. It also is a meaningful coincidence. But what I think synchronicity is in this capacity, in this case, is when your thoughts, your words, and your actions are aligned. Now think about that for a second. Do you generally say what you're thinking? Do you do what you say? It seems like such a simple idea, right? That we're taught as little kids. But very few people really live their life like this. As an entrepreneur, if you can find a way to be in synchronicity, according to this definition, you're going to be one step closer to success and happiness.